applause is the third time we've done it because someone's a diva. Interview over. <laughs> <laughs> While he's posting his Snapchat, we're going to play a game with you guys, if that's cool. Whose dick is this? I mean, we are on Snapchat, so... Is it? Hit, the, hit the fucking lights. <laughs> <laughs> the poor children Oops. that may be watching this later. Okay. What is this? What are we filming for? This is called Stage Art Secrets for online publication based out of here in Chicago. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. It's not a Nickelodeon thing. Um, we, no, not really. So I can say fuck. Yep, please do. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to play a game called First and Last with you guys today, if that's cool. Alright. So, first one is your first summer vacation memory. Um, I think mine was, uh, going to, like, a Big Bear Lake, but not in California, in, uh, in Utah with my parents. And I had, I had hay fever really fucking bad. It sucked because I was out in the middle of, it was like April, whatever month it is, all the pollen. And I stayed there for a week, just in misery, or I was just bending the fuck out, so like I slept or and were sneezing the whole time. So, <laughs> I fuck, I hate, I hate, I hate the woods, I don't like camping. So yeah, I'm no, I'm fucking, I have allergies too, it's okay. Mine, mine was Sedona. That's such a fucking lie. <laughs> Do you know where Sedona is? <laughs> yeah, know where it is. <laughs> Sedona is in Arizona. No. Um, okay. Sedona. Good answer. <laughs> Billy Bob. Billy Bob. Um, uh, pretty sure my first one was oh, on a houseboat with. Bad. Yeah. Almost. almost. Or maybe it was not skiing, okay. and I jumped off the little ski lift too early or too late, and I landed on my mom. That's in the wintertime, dog. What, did you ask me? First what summer, summer vacation. Day? Oh, memory. so I don't pay attention when people see. No. I'm not the same. <laughs> The problem is I, I take my like answer back, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm white trash, so mine was glamorous California, dude. <laughs> uh, so mine has to be a fucking a house bar on Lake Mead with my yeah, family. I was actually, yeah. I was there. It's a funny story. Yeah. Picture to prove it. Uh, yeah, you got the photo pictures? Right yeah, on your, on your Snapchat? No, no. This <laughs> is my mom's wall. This is the funniest story is that I was meant to, the first time that my parents were going to leave, our parents were going to leave and give me the house, and I was like in seventh grade. And they're going to the house for a week, and I got caught smoking weed like a week before that. And then I got we have to go on vacation. I was like, fuck, whatever. And so right before I go on this vacation that he's talking about, my friend gives me uh, a tape cassette. These tape, these music used to come on cassette tapes. I was around for that. Yes. Yeah. So so you know, so that's <laughs> on one side it had Slayer, Rain, Blood, and the other side had N.W.A. Shade of Compton. And then, like <laughs> the only, no one had ever heard of either of these two bands. And I remember being on the houseboat with them. And then be driving like five miles an hour, I was just in the shit of the going, holy shit. It's like the fucking scary shit ever. <laughs> Flip it over and slayer draining blood is going on. It's like, oh my god, I'm going straight to hell. Like, like, <laughs> like, I'm gonna be covered in blood right now. But that was my introduction into both those bands was that vacation that he's talking about. Yes, that's a crazy little story. That's awesome. Alright, what was the first mama I made it moment? Uh I think maybe the first time like you got played on the radio. And maybe I think she was a preschool teacher, and I think some of her her kids' parents were like, oh, we heard, you know, your son on the radio, congratulations, something like that, like that. Yeah. Perfect. I remember uh, Superman coming on the radio, radio in San Diego. Mm -hmm. I was sitting in a house, and it felt really, really, really cool. It's one of those moments that I talk about younger bands once they get to that stage. It's like, mm -hmm. your, your song first on the radio was rad. I, I still remember that moment, I think. Yeah, I remember the first time I was on the radio. Well, I don't remember the exact moment. I remember when, fuck, I'm on the radio. It's yeah. crazy. Same for you. Oh, I have to answer the suit? <laughs> no, you just sit there. Oh, Look pretty. Part. As I do. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Probably that first time my mom watched us play like House of Blues in like, San Diego. It's a sensible answer. In front of a lot of people. There you go. Okay, the first song you wrote. Uh, well, I mean, I was, uh, God, I was, I've been like 14. I was in a band called Spy Kids. And I forget what it was called and I just write that kind of stuff. First song I wrote for Unwritten Law was CBK. Might be Tribute. Johnny? <laughs> well, got me in a pickle here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a bass player here. Hi. Oh, hell. Hi. All hell skip. <laughs> but on a sense on that, when Scott wrote Blue Room songs, I remember we sat in the garage and he wrote literally that entire record with lyrics within like fucking it seems. No, it was a six song demo. Six song demo. It took a week, you guys gave me six songs without any music to it, or without any vocals and 
chop it all out. Maybe but I'm, I'm talking about front to back, like music and lyrics, everything, so right. in case it were song. Nice. All right, the last embarrassing stage moment. Just last night. <laughs> what happened? No, nothing happened. <laughs> um, I don't, I try not to have embarrassing stage moments. I guess it would be the other night, um, which city was it in, where I threw up a lot. You went to Simon and Barfunkel and everyone? Yeah. Uh, what city was that? I was, I was such a blur. Everything. Yeah, it was about two weeks ago. I was on stage and I, I got caught a phlegm caught on my gallery foot, and I just went and stopped throwing up. And so I'm like mid song. It was at the end of Kaylin actually, and so I'm playing the song and then the chorus and here comes boom, and so I just turned around towards the way his jump kit. <laughs> I just sat there, but didn't miss a beat with the mic. Well, I thought you know, I thought you were just, I didn't even notice. I turned around, I'm like, what's he even do back there? And then I'm like, I'm like, oh, he's just looking fucking rad with his guitar, like, doing whatever. And there's and a massive hat, it won't stop. But, uh, next thing you know, someone, our tech rose up, puts a towel over it, and... <laughs> so that'd be my last embarrassing moment. I want to say, I can't remember what city it was in. I cannot remember what city that was yeah, either. I'm actually usually pretty good at that. I like those embarrassing moments. My last embarrassing moment was saying, and Hollywood. What happened to me? What happened to me? <laughs> and go! <laughs> no, and you don't even saw me. Like, no, I saw you. Okay, next question? No, what happened? Come on now. He forgot, he, he forgot to show up on time, so we had to call a friend yeah. to get there in time to play the Pennywise. And I'll come to the news. Pennywise, and, Pennywise, and, Pennywise and Bouncing Souls sold out to play the Amazon 37 cap room. Mm -hmm. It's huge, sold out. And Dim shit here. <laughs> For, forgot about to add, add in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, what's your most embarrassing stage moment? Oof. Probably just blacking out on stage. <laughs> playing more notes and having I Playing for yeah, yeah, right? That's probably that. Forgetting the songs in C and playing in B. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, you that's enough. You're fine. And then blaming my guitar tech? Like, you fucking t <laughs> fully <laughs> tuned you, 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 you fully tuned my bass wrong. <laughs> and he's, he was such a champ. He knew he didn't tune it wrong. But he's like, dude, I'm so sorry. Dude. It'll never happen again. Like. And Scott's like, starts yelling at him, like, yeah, suck up, all the shit in the fucking book. <laughs> yeah, that's probably my most embarrassing. It just, for like, spacing out in the middle of the song. And that happens. Yeah, it happens. Okay. It does. That makes sense. Alright, the first show as a band, what was it like? I mean, uh, can't remember, it's such a long time ago. I don't know. <laughs> it like in the 89 of mm -hmm. the party. I can't, I can't tell you, like, I can, can't remember. Like over 25 years ago. Yeah, it's crazy. It <laughs> yeah, is crazy. How old I am? You were being born. I was. <laughs> when was the last time you called home? Uh, I was just talking to my son yesterday. Okay, good. 20 minutes ago. He's better. Talk to body. <laughs> uh, I talked to my dad a couple days ago. And then we had death in the family, so I had to call home and make sure everything was okay. Alright, well that's all I got for you guys for now. We're doing acoustic session next. Sure. Alright, catch you guys next time. I'll see you very soon. Thank you, thank you. Bye.